you Holy Spirit that there's provision in the Holy Book for me to be delivered for me to be set free Holy Ghost empower me with deliverance power let the power of God be made manifest in my life I know Holy Spirit that I need to be spiritually positioned well for me to be totally delivered I'm in pursuit of total deliverance this season I know Holy Spirit as I am totally delivered I will walk in total prosperity I know you have a plan for me plans to prosper me not to harm me a future and a hope I know I have a God-given destiny that I must fulfill I will fulfill it as you deliver me this morning Holy Spirit I submit myself for deliverance let me be delivered by the power of the Holy Ghost I believe in deliverance power thank you Holy Spirit anoint the man of God as he speaks the word let that word deliver us I realize that deliverance is not only by the laying on of hands but deliverance lasting deliverance is by the power of the Word of God let that word touch and impact my life fill my life with your word that the powers of darkness might disappear from my life so that I can fulfill my glorious destiny that you have planned for me oh Holy Spirit I speak Galatians 1 verse 24 let people see the glory of God through my life let my life be an epistle let my life be a picture of the glorification of Jehovah God thank you Holy Spirit according to your word I shall be delivered in the name of Jesus in the ember months we are in the ember months and we recognize that uh, the enemy the enemy is raging fire at this time hallelujah I'm still in the holiness series but I will balance it with deliverance because there are some urgent deliverances that must take place hallelujah I want you to have faith for your total deliverance everything we do in the kingdom is by faith somebody says by faith okay so it's important that you believe what God is saying and you believe what God is doing hallelujah and you believe in the deliverance power of God there are people who believe they don't need deliverance nothing could be further from the truth your English accent does not destroy the powers of darkness the Bible says do not forget the stone from which you were hewn you are an African even you who is in Europe you are an African even if you have a British passport it's just a piece of paper in the spirit you are an African even in your British passport the right place of birth Shamva you are not born in Leicester Oh, Hamshe. No, you are from Shamba. And Shamba is still looking for you. Hallelujah. If they can't find you in the natural, they will look in the spirit. Ask your neighbor, where are you from? Yeah, you can have a British nose like myself, but it does not exempt you from repatriation. We are here to fix it. I said we are here to fix it. 
let me speak psalm 138 verse number eight ahead of time god must perfect everything that concerns you i want you to remove this mindset that deliverance is just by the rolling on the ground i asked the lord how how are white people delivered he said by the word how are black people in Africa delivered by force? Because they don't want to get into the word. Desire to get into the word. Psalm 107 verse number 20. I want to show you uh, some scriptures. We're going to deliver you by the word today. Yeah, because if you are in the UK and you still need deliverance. And I'm here. How am I going to deliver you? By the word. So as I'm speaking... I'm sending the word. Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent his word and delivered them. The word can deliver them. Multiple number of people. My hands will deliver one person. The word will deliver them. I will, somebody, I hope you got it. I hope you got it. I said he sent his word and delivered them in the United States. He delivered them in Europe. He delivered them in South America. He delivered them. One word can deliver them. <laughs> the Bible says he sent his word. He spoke a word unto Jacob and it delivered Israel. Ay, 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 ay. one word to Jacob delivered the whole of Israel so you can receive a generational word today that will deliver your whole generation I wish somebody was in church this morning the deliverance is starting he said he sent his word and he healed them so healing is by the word any healing without a scriptural backing is temporary how do you get permanently delivered? You are delivered on the strength of the word. Not on the strength of the anointing of the man of God. Not on the gifting. You are not healed by gifting permanently. But you are healed by the word. By the word. All things were made by him. That's the word. And without him was nothing made that was made. Okay, let me, take, let me give you the pretext of the book protest of the context of the text john chapter number one in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god all things were made by him the word and without him the word was nothing made that was made that word shines in darkness and darkness comprehended it not. That word is sent to deal with your sickness and that sickness will not comprehend. That disease will not even understand how or when it left. Hallelujah. Because you shall be delivered by the word. Hallelujah. And the Lord is opening up my eyes right now. He's saying wherever Jesus stepped onto the scene, the people were healed. Not because he laid hands, but because the word had showed up. There is no record of Jesus laying hand, uh, hands on that man, mad man of Gadarene. But he just showed up there. In other words, the word sent by God showed up to the mad man of Gadarene. And as the word shows up, demons just have to start going by themselves. Don't wait for the laying on of hands. Don't be addicted to the laying on of hands. No, be addicted to the word. And I declare and I decree every scripture that I speak today is a scripture that will deliver you. Is a scripture that will set you free don't look for a one-on-one -on -one with the man of God I don't have time hallelujah look for the word the Bible says in the book of John chapter number 15 I think verse number 2 I stand to be corrected he said you are washed by the words I speak to you so this morning may you be cleansed that's the right scripture may you be cleansed by the word from generational curses you are being cleansed that's why when you're in a church service you must focus spiritually I said you must focus spiritually hallelujah because the word that is spoken they are spirit john 6 63 and they are life hallelujah all things are done by the word i my deliverance is by the word by the stripes of jesus i was healed thank god for doctors hallelujah it's not so much by medication because medication without the word is a frustration i must be healed by the word thank god for the for for the pharmacist and all those companies that make antibiotics hallelujah i will take them but I will rely 
rely on the word in the beginning was the word so when I am in the word I am resetting my body to how God intended it before the foundations of the earth I'm telling my heart go back to the beginning for in the beginning was the word when my heart is overwhelmed I will cry out from the ends of the earth lead me to a rock that is higher than I and that rock is Christ Jesus it doesn't matter what they do in my background I stand on the word I stand on Christ the rock hallelujah all the wizards in my family right now they're at bay on the strength of the word I don't need to go Kuruseva. I don't need to talk to them I don't need to talk to them and make peace hallelujah I just speak the word I send the word to Chueche I send the word Kwazimba. that's on my father's side and my mother's side and I speak and I declare and I decree Psalm 7 verse number 9 let the wickedness of wicked witches in my family let it come to an end so I end the reign of witchcraft by the power of the word if you are in a church that just prophesies and does not speak the word you are in trouble because you cannot be rescued just by prophecy alone you need the word of God the word of God the word the word the word of God Paul comes later on and he says in the book of Hebrews all things are held together by the word He's, in fact he says all things are held together by the word of his power not by the power of his word by the word of his power in other words the word is the glue that holds the earth in its place the earth will not fall apart because of the word that's why God exalts himself above the word he says he is God and then he is the word the word is more preeminent than God himself he I'm not preaching heresy this is what your Bible says he exalts the the word even above his own name can you imagine at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow but at the word your life shall be put together may the things that have fallen apart may they be put together by the word may your marriage be glued by the word that's why he says what God has put together glue let no man put asunder let no strange woman put asunder in the name of Jesus I declare and I decree that even as I'm speaking this word on deliverance may you be delivered may you be delivered it doesn't matter where you come from may you be delivered may you believe just that, that just at the speaking of this word God is frustrating the devices of the wicked job 5 verse number 12 you can frustrate devices of the wicked you don't have to you can frustrate that device hallelujah and I speak over your life whatever the father has not planted it is uprooted spiritually by the word I said you are delivered by the word I said you are, it is being uprooted by the word that breast cancer I uprooted by the word it doesn't matter where you are you don't even have to fly into Zimbabwe you can just be watching me online like thousands of people that are being delivered by the word be delivered by the word be healed by the word be set free by the word I want you to raise your faith in the word hallelujah the word of God is powerful the Bible says the word is quick the word is sharp the word is powerful sharper than any two-edged sword hallelujah it's sharper than the wizards sharper than the witches sharper than the principalities and the Bible says the word is quicker in other words I don't have to wait no six weeks for me to be healed because my bone was broken by the word it can happen in six minutes because the word is quick I know you think it's going to take time for you to prosper. No, it will be quick. It will be quick. The Bible says in the twinkling of an eye, things can happen quickly. Things can happen swiftly. David cried out unto God and he said, Hear me speedily, O oh my God, lest my heart faint and I go down into the grave. When things are urgent, apply the word of God. When things are frustrating you, apply the word of God. 
God when things seem to be taking time apply the word of God I command speed on your payment I command speed on your resources I command speed on a shift for you I command a change of story the Bible says let's use the word and the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah and he gathered up his loins I'm in first Kings chapter number 18 verse 41 to verse 45 and the hand of the Lord came upon him he gathered up his loins and the Bible says he went ahead he told the king go ahead King Ahab I'm gonna catch up with you I decree you are catching up by the word you are catching up by the word I know the enemy had delayed you but you are catching up by the word hallelujah I'm preaching somebody into their destiny by the word so the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah he gathered up his loins the king went ahead and the Bible says he overtook the king and he went and waited for him at the gate of Jezreel and he said king how come you took so long you were in a motorcade you didn't understand that I had divine speed by the spirit I declare and I decree before this year is over I said before this year is over forget the economy we operate by a divine economy our help is from above so above is the word that I'm releasing and that word is releasing speed into your supernatural prosperity especially because you are walking in holiness these things will begin to work divine speed 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 things must happen quickly things must happen quickly we are behind kingdom schedule Jehovah God we need divine speed we need you to accelerate some things we had been stopped blocked and frustrated by the powers of witchcraft but by divine speed Jehovah God step in on our behalf are you not the God who said you will restore I mean Joel chapter 2 the years that the canker worm the locust and the palmer worm have eaten your great army that you sent against us because we're in disobedience but you said you will restore in the same way that you restored the prodigal son restore every one of your children under the sound of my voice whether here live or online restore their lives restore their destinies in the name of Jesus Jehovah God divinely put a signet ring on their finger in the name of Jesus we embrace them back into the fold by the hand of God the word of God releases the hand of God his hand is the hand of power by a strange power you see results you see dominion you see a change of story I don't know about you but I love the word of God everything that you want in your life is wrapped up in the word when God reveals a word to you he's opening up your life to you receive the word of salvation I'm not afraid I'm not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God unto salvation so there's power in the word not only is there power in the blood of Jesus but there's power in the word today we'll apply the word we will not speak about our problems we will speak the word to our problems is it not Jesus who taught us he gave us the blueprint whenever the devil attacked him what did he say it is written it is written men shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God so the word creates my life I don't know about you, but I'm living by the word. I'm living by the word. I'm not living by the economy. There's no US dollars in the economy, but there's US dollars in the word hey, I have favor with kings by the word by the word by the word I'm sustained by the word I'm protected by the word I'm shielded by the word I'm raised by the word I love the word of God it is my everything hey, in that word I live in that word I move in that word I have my being oh I can talk the whole day about this word 
Bakota, hey, Gabatola Bakiza Dabahaya, in the Bakota Bahaya. I deal with wizards by the word. My focus is the word. I don't even depend on the anointing oil, I depend on the word. I have mantles, but I don't depend on mantles. I depend on the word in the name of Jesus and by the power of the word. Men of God, we've heard that you've raised the dead a number of times. How did you do it? I send the word. I send the word. I send the word. That's why I can't take the glory. All I did was activate the word. Is it not angels that are activated by the word? Angels hearken to the voice of the word. When I open my mouth and I release the word, I release angels. I don't release angels by saying angels be released. No. Angels hearken to the voice of the word. So when I open my mouth and I release the word of God and I say no weapon formed or fashioned against me, Isaiah 54 verse 17 shall be able to prosper and every tongue rising against me in judgment I shall condemn. Immediately angels go and they begin to disassemble satanic weapons so that they do not prosper. That's how the word works. Hallelujah. I send angels on assignment right now in the name of Jesus. When I'm in trouble, I call on God by the word and I say Jehovah God, according to Psalm 50 verse number 15, help me in that time of trouble. Immediately angels are dispatched from heaven because I've spoken the word and angels they go and look for any form of trouble in my life and they begin to deal ruthlessly with the trouble. Whether the trouble is a thing or a person, they are in trouble. Is it not Joshua who said, why do you trouble us? Our God will trouble you today. I speak today and I decree angels must trouble anyone troubling you. Anyone troubling your destiny. I release the angels by the power of the word. May angels go and deal with them ruthlessly in the name of Jesus. When I say Jehovah defend me, you are my defense. Immediately angel Michael and his angels, they show up and they begin to defend me because he is my defense. My defense is not Uncle Nigel. Can't you see he's a skinny little man? He is not my security. My security is from above. I have strong angels. If your eyes were to be open spiritually, you would see I am not alone. I move with angels. Why? I'm always speaking the word. The more I speak the word, the more angelic activity is released. I don't know about you, but I have angels that beat people on my behalf. I don't have to hire goons. I don't have to go to bar and pay people $10 to just go and discipline someone. No. All I do is I speak the word. When I speak the word, my enemies are in trouble because angels are dispatched. Did he not say in Psalm 89.23 I will beat your enemies before you. I will beat down your foes. So when I speak that word, angels are released to go on a beating spree of every wizard, everyone that is against my destiny. Did he not say in Isaiah 54 verse number 15 he said they shall gather but not for my sake. Whenever there's a satanic gathering against me, I just speak that word and I say they are not supposed to gather. So if they've gathered, angels are released to go and scatter. And when I want to take the battle to another level to heavy gears, I speak Psalm 68 verse number 1 and I say Jehovah God get off your throne. Arise and let the enemies be scattered. Every satanic meeting that was held last night about you or that shall be held today about you we speak uh, psalm 68 verse number one let our god arise in this ember month let the enemies be scattered in this ember month in the name of jesus
Jesus. I'm not preaching, I'm delivering. I'm setting the captives free. Is this not your daughter of Abraham? She must be loosed. Woman, thou art loosed. Resources, thou art loosed. Men, thou art loosed. Opportunities, thou art loosed. Real estate, thou art loosed. And receive your deliverance by the power of the word we release Jehovah Sabaoth the mighty man of war in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost we release the fire of God in the name of Jesus your God is a consuming fire today in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost we release the fire of Jehovah if you're waiting for laying on of hands you're missing it we are laying on the word today Psalm 140 verse number 1 deliver me oh God from evil men preserve me from violent men angels are swinging into action right now they are looking for any evil man who has my name in the witch coven and God is delivering me from evil men preserving me from violent men next verse who plan evil things in their hearts so God is going into the hearts of men and is looking for any evil planted in there against me and he will set me free They will try and threaten you. They will try and threaten you. Don't be afraid. Akona kuchika kwenye kurufu. Enda. Asusa tuwa enda. Send the word. When I get to church, Marshall and the protocol team, they are already here waiting for me. You can send the word as protocol to wait for you. Who is that protocol? Angelic hosts. You have angels that you are not using. Because you are not speaking the word. You are speaking your problems. You are not speaking the word. Right now where I am, I'm telling witches, please gather. If you gather, you will make my job easier. Because I don't have to send angels to different parts of the nation. <laughs> Don't go one in one place. When they wanted to destroy Osama bin Laden, they waited for him and his people to gather in one place. Boom! Finish. There are some scriptures that are spiritual bombs. You are a soldier. You are a soldier. You are so stop moving around with the folk. You are a soldier. God said, you are my battle axe. That's Jeremiah 51 verse number 20 downwards. He says, by you. Not minus you. You are waiting for God to do things that he wants you to do. He says, by you, I will pull down kingdoms. There are demonic cartels that need to be brought down by you. With the help of Jehovah. But it is by you. You are being strengthened. Not only are you supposed to deal with the problems of your family, God wants to strengthen you to deliver you until you are a deliverer. <laughs> Listen, sometimes God allows you to come from such a negative background as training. The witches in the Chipoyera family and in the Mburuma family, my mother's side and my father's side, they, they trained me. So now when I deal with small, small witches, 
apa namanya don't hate your background it is training I said every gathering this ember month October, November, December devil watch out we are working in holiness now watch out Hansi, you are my battle ex. Jeremiah 51 verse 20. And weapons of war. Not only do I have weapons, I am a weapon. When you show up in a place, they must say, we are to give another. Jesus had not even said anything when he showed up and he met the mad men at gathering. Ah, are you here to destroy us before our time? He had not said anything. When you walk in power, real power, the moment you come close, there is a realm of power where you become a weapon. I can't show up. Hey. <laughs> when I show up, they must unite. One of the first things I, is I want you to stop fearing unnecessarily. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So when we are doing spiritual, uh, 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 spiritual warfare, we are doing it from a point of victory. We have won already. We are just enforcing the victory. Shumi, receive the power of the living God. May the anointing of the Holy Ghost propel you to your real level. I speak over the life of UKPM. We are approaching the ember months from a position of power, not from a position of defeat, Glenda. Catch that girl, somebody. Do not be afraid of witches, small, small witches. You will become a weapon on the marketplace. You will become a weapon on the marketplace. Look at me. No one is permitted to bewitch you anymore. Any witch bewitching you, they are dead. They are dead. They are dead. They are dead. Enough of which Kavaroi. You will never know where you are going to You must be a problem to witches and wizards. Yada bakati bakati la rabaya. You must be a weapon. Anda makata mahaya. This thing of being a spiritual whimsical must come to an end. Yadige sheza do bahaya. Not only are you being delivered, you are being turned into a deliverer. Yada bakola bigidi de da bahaya. Receive a baptism of the Holy Ghost. May you be a firebrand. May God use you for his glory how can God be glorified the devil is a liar we are a ministry of power the same power that raised Jesus from the dead resides on the inside of you the same power that raised Jesus from the dead resides on the inside of you real men of God should be able to transfer power may you become a firebrand may you become a firebrand all these business battles must come to an end I'm a general in the spirit releasing my army commissioning you with power there are problems that are ending today simply because you are becoming a firebrand every serpent I mean X-28 every viper that was hiding hiding in the sticks kumusha, hiding in the sticks kumusha, because you are a firebrand we release fire the serpent the serpent that has been hiding for years is coming out and being destroyed we expose every power of darkness that has made your spiritual weakling we expose 
oppose it you will become a prayer point for your enemies you will become her you will become her you will become a concern you will become a concern for your enemies you will become a concern because today I initiate you with power a power of the Holy Ghost a power of the Holy Ghost you are becoming deliverers you are becoming deliverers enough of good you are becoming deliverers so jazata yamazata labaya we are not here to set you free we are here to make you a freedom spiritual fighter yamaha not only will you fight your battles but even the battles of others and you shall receive power after that the holy ghost has come upon you even you who's online receive power receive power ayabaka talama receive power even you who's under the power of god in the auditorium even those who are in their homes under god power receive more power receive more power receive more power ya pay kede be kadi bahaya ana basa tala mahaya look 21 verse number 15 ha te be kede le me kedi mahaya your mouth is being anointed your mouth is being anointed whenever you speak you will see results ana bakata mahaya i will give you a mouth and wisdom ha de ba katala mahaya ida ba kotala mahaya ata bokata bahaya ana bakata bahaya i will give you a mouth and wisdom I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist receive irresistible power I'm releasing power I'm releasing power I'm releasing power Whoever is sharing this stage with me, may they receive territorial power. May they receive territorial power. Whoever is kneeling down on this red stage, power to take over territories. Power to take over territories. You are not small boys anymore. You must become territorial powers. Territorial powers. Territorial powers. Territorial powers. Be empowered. Be empowered in your field. Be empowered in the petroleum industry. Be empowered in the motor industry. Be empowered in construction, real estate development. Be empowered. I said, be. I'm not joking. Be empowered. Be empowered in transport. Empowered. Receive power in your industry. Power in your industry. Power in your industry. Power in your industry. It is power that is needed to take over. We took over the nation of Zimbabwe from the white man, not by negotiations at Lan Lancaster House. Those, ne those negotiations, they failed. We only took over when we decided to fight. As it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. But to fight, you need power. Micah 3 verse 8, put it up there. He says, truly, truly, I'm full of power. Be empowered. Be empowered. Be empowered. Be empowered. Be empowered, KPM. Be empowered. Jehovah, those who are hungry, for divine empowerment. Father, you are turning them into a better ex this morning. And in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost. As I'm praying, the power of God is being released all over the world, whether you're watching live or delayed. Receive divine empowerment. Father, you called me as a dispenser of power. Today I dispense power. I release power to your children. Power to your children. Be empowered. May you never be the same again, Musa. Receive power. Shalabazo di bekedi de le bahaya. 
Jaza da bakole bege zedile de boko di bahaya. Jos jaze gilire bakola bahaya. Receive power! And when that power comes upon you, you will be delivered first and then you will be turned into a deliverer. The madman at Gadarin, he was delivered and then he went and delivered ten cities. Shakazi de le bahaya. Ya ya bako le de bako le de de bako la bahaya. Aya anda baza di le de beke di bahaya. Kupa baka di bahaya. Simba no shamisa. Basho li de beke di bahaya. Atika kundwe simba newa na masatani. Atika kundwe simba newa na nakaromba. Atika kundwe simba newa na wazunga na mate. Atika kundwe simba pa makete. Murku kundwe simba pa makete. Saka tambira i simba. Dati saka tambira i simba. Dati saka tambira i simba. Mangamchu kundwe simba pa makete. Saka tambira i simba. Tambira i simba. Tambira i simba. Mangamchu ni mkada kubata mari. Mwema makundwa. Tambira i simba. Tambira i simba. Tambira i simba. Tambira is Simba, Tambira is Simba, Tambira is Simba. Maya, Maya, you have been too weak for some deals. Be empowered, be empowered. Even you who's online, be empowered, be empowered, be empowered. You who's on the gray floor, be empowered, be empowered. Jehovah God, it's not a preaching service today. It's an empowerment service. Vape Simba, Vape Simba, Vape Simba, Vape Simba. Today I baptize you not with water. I baptize you with fire. I baptize you with fire. You can't become a firebrand without being baptized with fire. Hey, kaba so bahaya, ha so tebeke jala bahaya, ha tiga da da ba ko da bahaya, ma tama bahaya. Jehovah God, as I'm praying, increase the fire, increase the fire, increase the fire, increase the fire. Receive power. You've been too weak, but receive power from today. You are empowered. You are empowered. You are empowered by the Holy Ghost. Me am chene. Me am chene. So that they are not tempered with spiritually in the ember months. Kutera na kwethi netu matimoni. Trukuramba, trukuramba. Vasimbisei, vasimbisei. Demonic powers that work against marital problems. Legedebeke, dedebeke, dedebeke, Ataboka, kapa, alaba, kata, bahaya. Anderebeke, zetebeke, telebeke, dibahaya. Simar no shami. Anyone who's watching me online and you are sick, even if you are here in this auditorium and you are sick, I send a word, I send a healing power in the name of Jesus. Any sickness, any disease, any pain, any lumps, fibroids, we take authority over you. Barrenness, we take authority over you. In the name of Jesus, whatever the Father has not planted is uprooted today. Ay abakuta basa to bahaya, adabakadi dada basa to basha. Tilerebe ke di bahaya, ando bakola bahaya. Any affliction in your stomach, receive healing right now. In the name of Jesus, I release the healing power of God all over the world. Those who are watching me, la baki la basa to bahaya, be healed completely, be made absolutely whole. In the name of Jesus, ma sha sa to bahaya, e kabasa. Tola bakila bahaya, ayaya bado bakile rebeke di bahaya. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth that he went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed. Anyone under the sound of my voice who has demonic oppression on them, as God has anointed me, I command that oppression to go. Only if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Anyone who's saying, Man of God, when I pray, I want answers. When I pray, I want the demonic destroyed. When I pray, I want my children healed. Receive that anointing. I transfer power to you. I transfer power to you. I transfer power to you. I transfer the anointing to you. God bless you. I transfer the anointing to you. In the name of Jesus, I transfer the anointing to you. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good projects and healing all those who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. Father I speak this scripture. I know you've anointed me. So today as I stretch out my hand at the instruction of the Holy Ghost, anyone who is sick or oppressed
oppressed by the enemy may they be healed may they be delivered may they be set free whether they watch this live or they watch it delayed the same power i release that power all over this auditorium receive the power of the holy ghost those who are watching online receive power last and i hear the holy ghost say this this ember month i release unto you i hope you receive this i release unto you luke chapter number 10 verse 17 to 19 behold I give you power over all powers of the enemy and nothing shall, shall by any means hurt you. Huh? Nothing shall hurt you. 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 Whatever the enemy has done or is doing in your life, I said nothing shall by any means hurt you. I speak Psalm 140 over your life. God is rescuing you from, from enemies. From the plans of the enemy is rescuing you. Every evil plan in the hearts of men, it will not work. It will not work. It will not work. The words I'm speaking are words from heaven. And they are words that are, are, are dispossessing the enemy and dismantling every satanic power every plan of the wicked one concerning your marriage is not going to work every plan of the enemy concerning your business is not going to work I'm delivering you by the word of God the Bible says in verse number 2 and those who plan evil things in their hearts they continually gather together for war every continuous satanic gathering I scatter in the name of Jesus every continuous satanic gathering I speak Isaiah chapter number 8 verse number 8 to 10 as they gather together they shall be broken in pieces I said they shall be broken in pieces be shattered all you peoples and be broken in pieces give ear all you from far countries get yourselves and be broken in pieces get yourselves and be broken in pieces he repeats himself for a reason I speak that word every satanic gathering against you they shall be broken in pieces I said they shall be broken in pieces because you are the evil of God's eye heaven is commanded to defend you may the God of Jacob defend you may the God of Jacob defend you may God remember your offerings may God remember all your sacrifices may God remember all your tithes may God remember your kingdom commitments in the mighty and precious name of Jesus I speak that word over your life they will gather for you, but they'll be destroyed. Anyone and Okufambira, this ember months they're in trouble. Because this word I've released it into the atmosphere. So the moment they are Nokufambira, this word begins to work against them. Your story is changing, KPM. Your story is changing. Every evil pattern in your life is coming to an end. I prophesy. Every evil pattern is coming to an end. Anyone with evil patterns, receive your freedom in the name of Jesus. Ah, Kabatola any evil pattern it must come to an end in the name of Jesus I remove the veil over your beauty the veil over your business there are people with demonic veils over them your beauty cannot be seen may that demonic veil be removed in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost I speak to anti-marriage spirit any anti-marriage spirit powers fighting your marriage I command them to be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost I release the power of the living God against every demonic force fighting marriages. It doesn't matter whether they're from your father's side or mother's side. We command war against anti-marriage spirits. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of poverty, we attack that spirit. Any giver, any tither, under the sound of my voice or watching online, in the name of Jesus, I dismiss the spirit of poverty. It is destroyed in the name of Jesus. I declare from today the works of your hands shall be blessed wealth and riches shall be in your house in the name of Jesus spirit of failure no more you shall not fail any longer KPM there shall be no more failure in your life wherever you have failed go and try again for the power of God is upon you the anointing of God is upon you you will not fail this time I said you will not fail this time in the name of Jesus I declare and I decree the powers that cause disappointment they will 
will not be able to work in your life anymore no more disappointments no more disappointments in the name of jesus repeated sickness is no more any sickness that keeps coming back now whom one verse number nine affliction shall not arise a second time in the mighty and precious name of jesus oh and today i attack the spirit of delay the power that causes delay those who are suffering from the spirit of delay i said those who are suffering from the spirit of delay we attack that spirit there shall be no more delays there shall be no more delays the bible says in the book of revelations chapter number 10 i think from verse number five to seven and the angel of the lord he put one foot in the sea and one foot on the land and he swore by him who lives forever and he said there shall be no more delay today i put my foot on the land and i put my foot on the sea and i swear by him who lives forever and i decree over your life there shall be no more delays whatever the enemy has delayed whatever powers are being used to delay you there shall be no more delays there shall be no more delays i remove the spirit of delay from your life there there shall be no more delays. Yabaka talabaza to Bahia. Ateveke se telebeke di Bahia. Every satanic embargo that has been spoken over your life. And they say you are not permitted in a certain realm. You are not permitted to live in certain houses. You are not permitted to drive certain cars. You are not permitted to have certain levels of prosperity. That is a satanic embargo. In the name of Jesus. There shall be no more delays, KPM. There shall be no more delays. We remove delay, we put acceleration. I speak as a prophet of God. Anyone under the sound of my voice or watching online, where the spirit of death had been spoken over your life, I said there shall be no more dying. I prophesy there shall be no more dying. You spirit of death, I dismiss you now. I dismiss you. 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 Spirit of death, go. There was a great storm, and Paul and his Paul and his people they just landed on that island, and the angel of the Lord visited Paul and said there will be no death. I speak over KPM between now and the end of the year. During this ember month, I said there will be no deaths. We will not bury anyone, whether it's COVID or whatever it is. I said there shall be no death. There shall be no death. The Bible says in the book of Revelations, there shall be no more dying. There shall be no more dying. There shall be no more dying. I speak to the COVID situation in the country and beyond the borders. I decree, this wickedness must end. COVID must bow down to our God in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost we command this thing to cease and to stop it must come to an end whoever is watching this online and is under the power of COVID in the name of Jesus receive your healing and receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus right now I speak stretch your hands towards me whether you are watching live or online in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost whoever is subject to a family altar and that altar is winning against them today I release power Whoever has been controlled by an altar, whoever has been controlled by an altar, whoever has been controlled by an altar, be set free. Huh? stretch your hands towards me whether you are here in the auditorium or you are watching delayed on a gadget stretch your hands towards me anyone under the sound of my voice with a complicated spiritual problem we are uncomplicated today cryptic bad 
battles must come to an end. Complicated witchcraft, there must be a reversal. There is, there is, there is, there is. Kodije li de bahaya, haya bakwe di beke di de be di de beke di bakata la bahaya, anda makati di de bakata la bahaya. Let me use this scripture to deliver them. Put up there for me Psalm 18, I think verse 47, 48. Uh, that talks about strong enemies. Deliver me from strong enemies. Shama kola bakata la ma. Yes, he delivers me from strong enemies. He delivers me from my strong enemy, those who hated me, for they were too strong for me. When your enemy is too strong for you, the battle becomes complicated. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, be delivered from strong enemies. I said, be delivered from strong enemies. Be delivered from strong enemies. Be delivered from strong enemies. Anyone under the sound of my voice, help that lady with the green, please help her, help her, help her. In the name of Jesus, anyone who comes from a background where there's strong witchcraft, be delivered. Anyone under the influence of strong witchcraft, be delivered, be delivered. They might be strong, but they are not stronger than God. In the name of Jesus, today I command deliverance from strong enemies. The ones that are stronger than you, be delivered from them. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands towards me. David said in some, some, I think some number three, verse one to three. He says, "Oh Lord, there are many who trouble me. There are many who rise up against me. If you're interested, stretch your hand. There are many who rise up against me, but you, oh Lord, are my shield, my." glory and the lifter of my head number one there are people here with many enemies today as you stretch your hands towards me all your many enemies are coming down in the name of jesus i said they are coming down in the name of jesus it doesn't matter how many they are they shall gather together but they shall be scattered i said those with many enemies spiritually be delivered be delivered be delivered you have arrows coming from every side be delivered. You have enemies from your father's side. You have enemies from your mother's side. You have enemies that have gathered against you. You have enemies that are teaming up against you. Every demonic gang up. Your brothers your sisters Lord, there are many who are rising against your children, but you are Lord are my shield, my glory and the lifter of my head. There are many of them. But despite however many they are, you will still lift up your head, Clarissa. You will still lift up your head. 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 They thought you were finished, but you will lift up your head. They thought this was the last chapter of your life, but you will lift up your head. Lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors. Kanda masikeli de be kidi de bahaya. Ayi zo je kidi de baguda bahaya. Ayanda mazende me keli de be kidi bah. Kado ze je lidi de bakola bahaya. Ayabaka di de beze de bokoli de bahaya. Ando bakola boka zado bahaya. Ayabaki de beze de lebe kedi bahaya. There's somebody watching me from the United Kingdom. You are desperate for deliverance. And you're saying, men of God, locate me. By the Holy Ghost, I've located you. In the UK, receive your deliverance right now. Aya so she zeki li de bahaya. Ando beki inda mazati ke jili de de bakoda bahaya. Ande ke zete beke li de de boko di bakata bahaya. Yakalali ena bako de beke zeta bahaya. Aza shaza to beke li de beke di bahaya. Ando la baba 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 kilele bakado bahaya. Aya ba soto boko di bahaya. You were bewitched when you were a little child, and the problems are still with you. 
whoever had been bewitched when you were a child uh, from today be delivered from that thing uh, I go right now in the realm of the spirit uh, and I undo whatever was done against you as a little child uh, people under the sound of my voice wakaroi wakufu as nestara jeso I said nestara jeso you are being freed right now la bigede beke di bakota mahaya anda mahaya placenta bondage is being removed in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost shazato bakata mahaya ale beke te beke di bahaya all you young men who are on the stage here any business bewitchment I reverse it right now I reverse it right now business bewitchment even you who's watching me from across the world any bewitchment of business I decree is coming to an end whoever's money was manipulated in the spirit in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost I command a reversal 